Welcome back to the offensive line. Today we are doing our very first listener generated episode. That's right, one of you asked us if we could do a video on this very topic, and we thought it would be a great one too. So, just a reminder that you can give us suggestions. In fact, we encourage them. You can leave us a comment in the comment section or respond to our Facebook or Instagram posts. Our topic today is God told me. Or maybe you've heard or seen it in the form of the Lord told me. Either way, we hear this all the time from supposed pastors on TV to visitors attending your church for the first time. Yeah, I remember early on in college, a really popular Christian speaker named Jason Ma was coming to promote his movie that talked about God working throughout Asia. And near the end, he told everyone that he received a vision from God telling him that sometime in the near future, UCSD was going to become a predominantly Christian school. So did it come true? Not at all. That was back around 2009, and now in the year 2022, UCSD is against religion as ever, let alone Christianity. You see, whenever someone says, God told me this or that, he gave me a revelation, God came to me in a dream, God came to me personally, whenever that happens, we need to think about the consistency of God's revelation. Is what is being said a contradiction to what God has said already? In one of our previous videos from season one, we talked about why we know the 66 books from Genesis to Malachi and then Matthew to Revelation belong in the Bible. One of the things is that we recognize the consistency of the message. You can check out that video here. Using the same principle of God's unchanging nature and message, we can test if whatever God told an individual is from God or not. That's how you get cults, actually. Joseph Smith, the founder of Mormonism, said he received a divine revelation from an angel named Moroni, who, by the way, is never mentioned in the Bible. Ellen White, who started the Seventh-day Adventist movement, was told by an angel in 1850 that Jesus was about to return to Earth. Benny Hinn, T.D. Jakes, Kenneth Copeland, and many more all claimed to have received messages directly from God. And yet, for some reason, these visions all contradict what God has already told us. This is exactly what Peter is talking about in 2 Peter 2, when he says that many false prophets will come who claim to speak for God. Here's a really cool example in the Bible we can look at. In Job chapter 4, Eliphaz claims to have had a vision from God, and this is what the voice in his vision says to him. Can mankind be just before God? Can a man be pure before his maker? He puts no trust even in his servants, and against his angels he charges error. How much more are those who dwell in houses of clay, whose foundation is in the dust, who are crushed before the moth? Between morning and evening they are broken in pieces. Unobserved, they perish forever. Is not their tent cord plucked up within them? They die, yet without wisdom. There are a few things to note about this vision. First is the content. Essentially, the vision talks about how suffering is sent by God to punish sin. So by saying this to Job, Eliphaz is implying that Job is suffering because of some great sin he committed. This is a direct contradiction to scripture. We see in the New Testament that those who suffer and perish are not necessarily more guilty than those who do not. And additionally, in chapter 1 of Job, God himself has talked about Job's righteous character. But we can also note the occasion. In the first two chapters of Job, we have a man who had lost everything. And now he's hurt and confused. His friends come from afar to counsel him. And Eliphaz, the first one to speak, tries to get Job to see things their way. So how does he do that? by saying that God gave him a vision. This vision, though, teaches something that Job never had access to, nor was it something that Job could confirm for himself. To the gullible and undiscerning, to go against the man who claims to speak for God is to go against God himself. And that's exactly how many try to manipulate the masses into doing exactly that, going against God. So the next time you hear from someone, God told me, approach with caution. As Christians, we are called to not believe everything we hear, but to test it all to see if it is from God. Hopefully that was another helpful video for you. Remember to like and subscribe for more content like this. Let us know if you have any suggestions for future videos we can do. This is the offensive line, and this season we are uncomplicating the complicated. See you next week.
my kisses. Oh, that hurts. I want to kiss that with you. More. Like, do I know why? Sorry, I think we need it. We just <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Christine's like, I'm waiting, guys. <laughs>